If you like the video, please consider supporting James Corp on Patreon. Mustache conversation. Uh, welcome, everyone. <laughs> welcome to uh, week zero, Mark Two, of our Curse of Strahd game. Um, some faces you've seen before, um, and some faces you haven't seen before. Um, and we'll, go, we'll be going around and getting them to introduce themselves and tell us a bit about themselves in a moment. But yeah, we're back with. Um, well, we're not back. We are sort of back, but we lost half the players, so it was not, I couldn't use the previous session zero. So yeah, so we're gonna be covering basically things that we've done before, um, but with a bunch of new people. Um, it's always the way, unfortunately. Online games, I find sometimes they they are pretty much a, a disaster for the first couple of sessions, and then things settle down, and then. Uh, and it's clean sailing um but yeah so yeah so i'm james chambers and i'm going to be the dungeon master of this game and like uh, this is literally the first dungeons and dragons game on my channel in five years or well, especially 5e uh i think we did a 3.5 game a while ago but it lasted three sessions but um yeah we're, we're here we're here with dnd uh, my knowledge of the rules is good enough. I could probably fake it, fake it until I make it. <laughs> you make basically. it. <laughs> yep. Um, fake it until you make it. I'm but, done. Yeah, we're using, we're actually using fancy grounds, which is better because it's all done and dusted, and um, we are playing the game slightly. It is going to be not rules as written. Uh, for Curse of Strahd. I mean, it is going to follow similar beats, but there are going to be changes that have been suggested in the massive posts uh, regarding the game. So, we're going to start clockwise and work... Well, anti-clockwise. I'm going to go anti-clockwise. So, Blaine, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself, please? Um, can you do someone else first? On the spot. <laughs> okay, Cameron. Cameron, Sorry. you're you're an old you're an old salt at this, an old yes. salt. Hello, my name is Cameron Harrison, known as CLH Harrison on Twitter. Uh, I have been on James Corp's channel before, uh, playing Blades in the Dark, Seventh Sea, and um, the, what was there was another system that we played together on the stream, wasn't it? Dungeon <clears throat> World, that's it. Um, I'm also, I am. Oh, not to throw any hate, right? Dungeon World. I wish you there when it was with, um, what's his face? The one who kept having a go at me that I was getting the rules wrong? Yeah? Was that I, the same no. one? I think you're thinking of Seven Seas. No, no, uh, no, yeah, I think cause you had, um, what's his face? Um, I'm not going to mention him by was... name. Not, not Monty. The other one who no longer is 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 with us. Uh, we'll be, we'll be whatever he kept saying, I get the was getting the rules wrong, but uh, no, I didn't. Uh, after watching someone else run masks, the new generation on last Saturday, I didn't get the rules wrong. Fuck it, because he kept, he just destroyed my confidence. He literally destroyed my confidence on 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 mm. running a game. Anyway. Sorry. Yes. Uh, hi, Lauren. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit of. I've been a fairly regular part of the James Corp machine. He's about uh, to be in a Deadlands game as well. So. Yes. Uh, the up, an upcoming Deadlands game. Um, otherwise, I, uh, I'm. I guess I could describe myself as a professional GM. Uh, currently, got three other games going on which I GM. Two of which are in the same world, so that's always fun. And yeah, uh, it, I'm happy to be a player for once. Thank you, Nathan. Hi, uh, my name is Nathan Clark. I'm Godless Polecat. Anywhere you care to find me on the internet. Um, I have. I'm no stranger to James's channel, although I haven't gamed with you guys and with James for for quite some time. Uh, for about it's been about a year, maybe more. Maybe two years. Last time I was on your channel, I killed your kick drive show. That's you didn't. I couldn't. You didn't. It kept going. It got killed. <laughs> oh, good. Good. It, it got. It actually got killed after you left. Okay. 
All right, good. Then I won't. I won't carry. That I mean, you helped in killing it, but you know. Yeah, I, I was the first punch. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I am. Um, uh, you know, early forties. I live in Germany and uh, play some role, role playing games online. I also run a uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden campaign. It's heavily modified, so it's more scary and not so much D and D in the snow. Over on the Tenth uh, House of Games, Capri the Gamer's uh, Twitch channel, but. Other than that, I'm here to roll. Good. Jesse. Hello. Uh, my name is Jesse. Uh, I go by Requiem of a Man on Twitter. Uh, I'm a voice actor, writer, artist, do a lot of stuff. But uh, I'm here to play in James's game. Kind of the first time I've kind of been in this game with him. So, well, no, so we can pretend he, he, we did try yeah. and do it last time, but it all went horribly wrong. <laughs> but it's still, it was fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's you know, I'm gonna make a person. Thanks, uh, Coldwin or Sam? Do you prefer Sam or Coldwin? Uh, Sam is probably. I'll, I'll respond quicker to something than Coldwin to be entirely honest with you. It takes me a few seconds to recognise that uh, handle. Uh, but yes, uh, hi there. I'm Sam, or Samuel, I suppose. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as Eldritch Warlock. Um, let's see. I'm a uh, uni student currently, so you'll see me tired a lot. I'll just say that. At least when the semester starts up again. And um, I am a uh, first-timer to this channel. Um and this is actually me returning to D and D, and tabletop as a whole. I used to play a lot, and then uh, a couple of things happened a couple of years ago. I uh, stopped playing, uh, but I saw this being advertised, and I've always wanted to play Curse of Strahd. I've DM'd a lot, but I never played it. Uh, so I jumped on the chance, and here I am. I suppose. Yeah, it's nice to meet you all, and nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I haven't stopped gaming in 27 years. I, I think uh, I think it worked I've, It worked out that Christmas Eve was my 27th year of role-playing. I've missed it, so I'm oh more than happy to be diving back into it, you know. Blaine, are you ready now? <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's just uh, the first person I was like, uh, I don't want to be the first person. That's ew. Um, anyway, so uh, my name is Blaine, and um, I guess it's like my second time like doing this because the first time was like meh, or it didn't work out. No, it was it was not <laughs> meh, but like it just didn't work out. Sorry, I didn't say that right. And um, yeah, um, I had this is my first stream, um, and um, yeah, I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. Uh, I've been playing D&D for such and such years. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been playing D&D since like I was in high school, um, on and off, mostly Pathfinder, but I've recently gotten into 5e. Is that because it's simpler mechanics? Yeah. But I'll probably still do Pathfinder-ish stuff sometimes. Plan for punishment, yeah. I'm, I'm used to it. All right. Hey James. Emma, yeah. Is it okay that I that I hide my age because if I yeah, say how long I've been sure, playing, sure. Like... I mean, I mean, the greys give it away, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not that old, but still, it's like. Well, oh. I think we've got a right. Well, Emily, you go next. Hi, I'm Emily, or or the Sim herself. I do stupid Sims videos on YouTube. Um, mainly random. just killing sims and um, very heavily pokemon themed um i've played D, &D with friends in real life <laughs> but not heavily so this is my first stream and my first online D, &D session hurrah but yeah that's it um right so um so basically the way it's going to work is every 15 minutes or thereabouts, even on normal streams as well. So we'll go to about 5-2, like 5-2 um, the hour, and then we'll take a 10-minute break, and then we'll come back at 5 past, and then go you know, go on for till 5-2 till and so on and so forth. So just I'm just getting that out of the way right now. 
Uh, if you have to go to the toilet, just turn your camera off and go to the toilet. All right. If you desperately, but try and like, if you can, aim for it to be uh, aim aim for to go to like breaks at those times. Um, and I will. Uh, I'm relatively good at doing cliffhangers, so if I if it's getting close to the hour and we're about to do a combat, I will probably go. We'll take a break now, and then we'll come back ten minutes later, and then do the co like start the combat. So it isn't so you aren't like mid combat on needing a piss or whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this we'll, is going to be. Got a question? We'll we'll turn our cameras off, mess up the OBS. No, because I, I I have dragged okay. it around, and if it does, I will just drag you over, and it will fix it all anyway. Okay. So it is it is possible to like for me to now move people around, which I didn't know I could do for I don't know if it's a new thing or whether it's been there all the time, but yeah, I've had uh yeah, it's been a quite a long time. Where I've had to make people like, no, you can't turn your camera off. See, look, Jesse <laughs> stayed in the place. See, look, you stood in the right, right place. Um, but anyway, oh, there's messages. Who's messaged me? Okay, all right. Um, so, um, some people have done characters. Some people want to redo their characters. Some people haven't got any characters to begin with. So, we're not going to tell you who's got characters because we're going to pretend that we're going to make their characters with them. Um, but the first thing I need to do, I know, I know, I know I'm showing the uh, magic behind the, uh, everything. Uh, first thing mm. I need to do is I'm going to be reading out some bits. Okay. Because, because Curse of Strahd is a horror game. Um, it is going to be, uh, I've got some things oh. that I need to cover. <laughs> okay. <sighs> right. Don't sigh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is important, Jesse. I know it is. It is very I, important. I know it is. I know. Okay. Sorry. So, Curse of Strahd is an exciting, intense, fast-paced adventure. It is a vivid exploration of classic Gothic horror tropes and monsters, from werewolves to vampires, ghosts, and more. It is a true sandbox, providing players with the freedom to make their own choices and build the kind of adventure they enjoy. It is an unbashedly character-driven campaign, giving your player characters an incredible chance to shine and make their mark on the story your group tells. However, Curse of Stride is also a brutal, stressful and alienating experience. Your characters will be trapped in a bleak gothic land, quite different from the world they know, uh, and the adventure contains several encounters and areas that will likely be will likely be far beyond your capabilities when you first encounter them. It does not provide routine or readily available loot or magical items. For a player who's not expe expecting it, Curse of Stride can suck. Really suck. Let's put it this way. If you want freedom to engage in combat and exploration without worrying about the potential risks, this is very possibly not the campaign for you. Likewise, if you are potentially triggered by gruesome depictions of horror or psychological disturbing relationships, or if you prefer a D&D campaign that features only victories or setbacks rather than the potential for outright defeat, you may want to try a different module. Now, if you're still around, this is why you should play Curse of Strahd. You love gothic horror tropes and themes. You want to engage with a character-driven story that pushes you, pushes you to develop relationships with multiple vivid NPCs and factions. You prefer role play, investigation and relationship building to combat or dungeon delving. You enjoy setting your own goals and pursuing means of achieve achieving them. You enjoy facing an active, powerful and personally antagonizing villain. Uh, and you want to participate in a tense, adrenaline fueled experience that will create memories to last a lifetime. Uh, da, 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 uh, 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 here are a few pro tips to succeed in the course of this campaign. Intrepid adventurous and sadistic mur murder hobos don't last long in Barovia. Now, uh, for Emily, who probably doesn't understand the lingo, a murder hobo is someone who just kills everything that they can. That's nice. Like, literally anything they can. If it, if it breathes, they kill it. Oh, nice. Um, or try to. Even if it doesn't breathe. <laughs> exactly, especially in Curse of Child. Most quite a few things won't be breathing. Um 
it's okay to it's okay to kill everything. It's just not okay to kill everything and not have any drive or reason to. Like role playing wise, hence the term mm. murder hobo. Like you don't have a place you live. You're just a guy that <laughs> travels from village to village murdering things for money. It doesn't make any sense role playing yeah. wise. Don't tread from the beaten path unless you have a good reason to. And don't alienate or antagonize NPCs if you can. Um, make more friends than enemies and don't go searching for treasures, fortune, or fame because you will probably die in a horrible death. Uh, yeah, again, I don't know, Emily. NPCs, do you understand the term NPC? Yes, not okay. playable character. I'm just making sure. She's, she's new. I've got to make sure. I don't want to be throwing all this lingo at you and you go, what's a, what's a PC? No. Uh, sometimes NPCs. I game. <laughs> yeah. There are NPCs and Sims. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sims. I guess there's NPCs and Sims. Anyone it's a game, not... apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Uh, yeah, remember Pokemon. The... <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. Exactly. Oh, and remember it's got you... stats and skills, and so I'm pretty sure she's pretty much up on the lingo. Sorry, I just look. I was, <laughs> look sorry, look, I just oh, thought God. just just in <laughs> Is case. Is she a gamer girl? Oh my God. Yeah. Are you? Are you do you even game? <laughs> oh, just, you understand them. Uh, Carry on, James. Remember that you are not your character, and invest real time in developing their thoughts personality and motivation externalize failure and use setbacks or defeats as an opportunity to explore your character's perspective and personal growth play smart many of the enemies in this adventure cannot be overcome easily in direct combat use goal preparation subterfuge uh, subterfuge diplomacy and research to achieve your goals spend time engaging with the other characters even when not discussing plans tactics or objectives Learn about their feats, their perspectives, and their experiences. Build meaningful relationships, not apathetic battle teams. Outside goals are hard, if not impossible, to achieve in Barovia. It's worth working with me to create a character-driven uh, to Barovia for some purpose that can only be fulfilled within its borders. And you make sure you speak to me about how to shape your backstory into something that can be relevant in the world of Barovia. Now, there, I have got something already in plan for that. Um, and some people have already got some bits. Um, I, I will be going over that when we get to that point. But, yeah, there is there is some things that will be able to draw your characters in that can only be fixed in Barovia. Um, and obviously, remember, your characters don't actually know they're going to Barovia, all right? The game is actually going to be started in, in the Forgotten Realms in the Sword Coast area. So, um, and it's also going to be the height of summer. And there will probably be a heat wave on. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, there is reasons. Um, try to remember your, try to remove yourself from the XP and loot model of progress in traditional campaigns and video games. And instead, try to enjoy the narrative progression of winning allies, fulfilling objectives, and advancing the storyline of the campaign and the player characters. I'm actually using a milestone um, leveling system, which means when you get to certain points or you complete certain tasks, I'll be going, you go up a level, and then you can advance your character. Um, so don't worry about it too much. Um, and we are all starting at level... Well, I'm not, but everyone is starting at level one. Um, don't try to play an apathetic or evil player character unless you are 100% sure that you can pull it off while being a supportive team player and engaging the story like a normal player character. Seriously, you'll make this adventure a lot more difficult and unenjoyable for me and you'll be cheating yourself out of a fun experience. You don't need to play a knight in shining armour, but you definitely shouldn't play a villain. Curse of Strahd, as written, is full of disturbing and graphic content. If you are potentially triggered by elements of child abuse, murder, stalking, gaslighting, racism, torture, mind control, cannibalism, situations paralleling sexual assault, child death, reference to stillborn miscarriages and abuse to those with disabilities or mental illness, animal cruelty, body horror, child abandonment, portrays of alcoholism or drug abuse, 
potential incest, implied necrophilia, or suicide, speak to me about any potential uh, anything potentially that we could work around or invite, uh, avoid it, these elements. And also, as a last bit, don't Google anything about Curse of Strahd. Otherwise, you will spoil the entire thing for yourself. Because there is so much out there about this game that uh, if the... Uh, if you uh, if you Google even a slight bit of it, you'll you'll spoil the entire story for yourself, and that's no fun. It's spoil, you know. It's like watching a film and knowing the ending. Um, but yeah, uh, most of that, uh, most of the warnings there is it, most of it is just implied. You don't actually encounter any of it at all directly as player characters. Um, it will be things that you will come across that have already happened, or have, or have gone on. So, does anyone have any issues with those at all? No, not really. And yeah, fuck mate. loads of spiders. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, I don't think there's any spiders, so I think you're all right. Uh, if anyone suffers from acrophobia. Um, now, does anyone have any questions? No. Not that I can think of. No. Okay, so now it's time for you guys to like talk about what classes and what races and spe well, species and classes you want to play um, and maybe talk about it among amongst yourselves and figure out what would be good and what works well together and make sure you've got some bases covered or what people want to play. Um, I'm going to pick on Blaine because he didn't want to go first, so I'm going to make him go first. <laughs> Blaine, well, no, I'm just... Just talk about yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I already, I already know what class I am. Um, I'm going to be a gnome um, cleric of... I, I think I was going to be trickster, but then I was just like, no, I'm just, I've never been a cleric before, so I'm just going to go straight heal it. Or the... What was it? Path the of healing. Of life. life domain? Domain of healing. Life domain of healing. Life, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Excuse me. Sorry, uh, I am looking down because I've actually got the player's handbook in front of me. Okay. Because it's one of the, it's one of the few physical. You can actually. Uh, I mean, just yeah, right. Um, there is just one thing I need to do, which I've forgotten to do with everyone. Everyone needs to go into library. I'm going to turn myself down. Go, I think shouting. I already loaded the modules. Yeah. Yeah, I already have those. Loaded. Everyone needs to go into library if you haven't done this already. Okay, and then click on modules. Don't worry about loading SR, any of the SRD stuff, okay? But scroll down, you want to load in. You want to load in the Curse of Stride players. Uh, uh, the player's handbook, you want to load in. Uh, Sword Coast Adventure Guide, player's bit, tick that. Tomb of oh. Annihilation, the player bit, tick that. Oh, sorry, I don't see modules. Um, okay, um, lower left corner of the window of the so library. So click libraries, yeah. Low, oh, oh, okay, I see it. Sorry. Uh, it yeah, don't worry about having don't worry about having SRD stuff loaded because it's not needed. Um, so yeah, make sure you've got the cursor stride plate. Once you've done this, that's that's it. You don't have to come back and do this ever again. Uh, the I don't know if the dungeon master bit's loaded for you. But just have a look at the books, the actual books with images that are, that I've given allowed players to, upload, uh, to access, and just make sure the tick button's ticked. Hey Blaine. Yeah. Uh, uh, put your name in the in the thing. I want to see how long it is. Oh, I, I did put my name in the thing at one point. Oh, but oh, you mean in the chat? Yes. Yeah, Blaine, the thing. That sounded very odd without context, I think. Sorry. I... <laughs> Put it in the thing, Blaine. Okay. <laughs> I'm putting it in the thing. <laughs> wants to see how long it is. How long was that? We've already, we've already started diving into the guts. How long did that take? Uh, uh, I'm a visual train minutes. derailer. You, you, you said we weren't starting there? What? I, I... <laughs> Right. Yeah. Has everyone has everyone ticked all the stuff that's available that they can? Apart from, like I said, don't worry about the SRD stuff. All right. Don't don't bother about that. 
Uh, yeah, mine's longer than yours. Uh, I bowed to your leap. <laughs> do we even need the basic <sighs> rules? Uh oh, they're ticks. I'm just saying this because you can actually, um, once you've done all this, you can actually also want, tell me once you've done that, right? And cut, uh, has, ev has everyone done it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, right. I believe I have. Like, and in, in the library, have... make sure you've got create PC option ticked. Or the, well, the tab at the top. Click, it just doesn't click. It's ah. a tab. Yeah, so click the tab and that will bring up everything you need to make a character in this game. Sweet. Um, so, yeah, and if you go in the library and if you look where all the modules are over on the left-hand side and you click on the player's handbook, if you scroll... First of all, most you can access most bits from here, but if you want to access the actual book, you can click reference and you'll actually get the entire player's handbook. Um, as writ as it is written in, in, in the physical world. Right, nice. so which one of you... So, it's, Nathan, you're pretty much keeping the character, right? Is that correct? Yes, correct. And and same for you, Sam, because you only did it the other yes. day. Yeah, okay, yeah. but keeping, everyone else? Yeah, I'm also keeping my character. So, oh, are you? Was, what was Sam? Yeah. Uh, right, so do you want to have a... Do you guys want to have a discussion of what, what, we're, what we're actually playing, what we're rolling with? Yeah, that's probably best, I think, to give an idea. Of yeah, yeah. I think I started it then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I had a brain fart. Already been chosen. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, right now we had Blaine playing the cleric. What were you playing, Nathan? I'm playing a paladin. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oath and Devotion <laughs> paladin. So we've, oh, got, nice. so we've got the we've got two holy people. Nice to know. Oh, yeah. well, you I have remember. the bard oh. in me. Uh, and oh, the bard. Yeah. So a cleric, um, a cleric, a paladin, and a bard walk into a bar. Um, <laughs> uh, the bar's already drunk. Uh, the bard is already drunk, of course. Okay. Naturally. Sam's playing a bard, or Samuel is playing a bard. Yes. Yeah, I'm playing a bard. Samuel is playing a bard. So that's two off heals, one healer. That's pretty, pretty dope. Yeah. And Jesse, and are you good sticking with rogue? I'm I'm thinking about it, but if we're looking like we don't have any like magic, that's going to be a problem. I think. What are you playing, Cameron? Um, that is a good question. I haven't. I'm a hundred percent certain on the race. What's that? Uh, I'm thinking of playing a drow. Ooh, a drow in the co are the drow in the player's handbook. Yes. Yeah, yeah they are. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, they are. Uh, page 24 of the book. And yeah, they're just a sub race of elf. How, yeah, far, just... how far we've we've fallen, James, where Drow are now in the player's handbook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's that's true. I am showing the book to demonstrate that I am not... Yeah, I've got it. I've got, uh, it, I've got it here. Yeah, yeah try not cool. to pull a fast one on you. So with magical stuff, as long as, like... I don't know, like, like as long as... As long as Blaine at fifth level, as long as he takes spiritual weapon at like second level or third level, and then he takes uh, for spells, and then he has available to him, he has um, what's the uh, spiritual spirit guardians. Oh, that, those are huge, like those are huge damage dealing, like sustain spells. So yes, those are beautiful spells, both of them. <laughs> if uh, uh, them. yeah, so if um. Yeah, I mean, I say you guys play with you. We have six PCs. Yeah, think, three of three of which already can lovely. heal. So yeah. I don't, I don't think we need magic support. I mean, yeah, okay, if you might want some balance party, but I, like, uh, I think, you know, that's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah cool just to, what class was you going to play, Cam? What class was you looking at, Cameron? Uh, there's part of me that wants to play a monk. Uh, there's part of me that wants to play a ranger, and there's part of me that wants to play a wild magic sorcerer. It's what you need in Burberry. Wild magic everywhere. I don't know if monk yes. would, I don't know if monk will actually fit the theme of. I Burberry. think monk would fit better than a wild magic. <laughs> yeah. that's... And I, 
Is there like the type of monk that can like heal people with its fists? Uh, I'm looking. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't think so. Be no, there's, there's... Let me beat the shit out of you. I mean, if he takes <laughs> enough drugs, it probably feels like he's healing people with his fists. Because but... I always wanted to play that kind of monk because it's just like, oh, I'm injured. My rib's out of place. And then you just like punch the rib back in and it's like you're healed. You're good. I believe um, Place Handbook has open, open palm. Yeah, uh, open and hand, drunken. way of shadow, and four elements. Oh, four elements, that's the one I was thinking of, yeah. Yes. Excuse me, sorry. So. I mean, if... sure, cool. I'm not, I'm not that bothered, but, you know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, um, about you, what about you, Emily? Did you, did you have a yeah. cursory look at all? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's, um... You want me to be a fighter, don't you? That's no. I'm not. I'm not saying you oh. should be. I'm just saying that it, it would be. Oh, the, what I want most, to be. It is. I think it's the most straightforward class, right? Is it? It yeah. is. For, yeah, I think yeah, it's designed to be the most straightforward. Someone... Yeah, I'm happy to be it then. Right. Which would explain why it's the most <laughs> popular class on uh, not sponsored D and D Beyond. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. It's my uh, my favorite class. Well, let me okay. Let me ask a, a pertinent question here, which has not been asked yet. What exactly happens when our characters die? Do we just restart a new character? Is that how the, is that how that works? Or how, how we, uh, yeah, if we can't figure out a way to resurrect you or revivify you or yeah, that's what happens. Um, but it, it's, it's... But don't. But if your character dies, just expect maybe something else might happen okay just saying <laughs> always uh, the best when the dm says that. i like you know, that i like stuff. that just saying <laughs> something else might happen as well my little forest gnome will come back as like some kind of zombie demon thing <laughs> I mean, a, a zombie articulated gnome that's okay i'll con <laughs> i'll consecrate him with my uh where the hell are my defaults you don't. You don't need your dice, Cameron. It's all on. It's all on roll twenty. It's not roll twenty. Foundry, fantasy grounds. I'm, I'm gonna say every fucking virtual tabletop before I get. <laughs> it's like it's like my aunt. Who, my aunt calls me. It's all available goes all my <laughs> Right. So, so once people have picked and haven't and uh, uh, need to make characters, click on the PC section. Right. It says PCs. Right. And there is a little star at the bottom in the bottom right hand corner a blue star i'll go to here there's a little blue star it's called the character wizard open that if you haven't made a character jesse I'm, i need you to do that as well yeah that's i'm doing that's it <laughs> okay right we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do this one at a time okay so the first thing it's gonna ask you for is your race so if you have a race you want to play select the race you want to play and then it will ask you for a sub race to pick from and then pick a sub race unless you're human and you just go human human okay. uh, emily did you have a do you know what race you want to play well, wasn't you saying that it was like better to be human? This is a very human-centric game, so yes. If you want yeah, to have an to easier time dealing with people in, in Barovia, yeah. then being so, human is going to be the yeah, best I option. think it makes, in, in the like, universe, it makes sense for other races to be there, but like the people of Barovia are like, ew. You're not yeah. suspicious. Very superstitious. <laughs> You're yeah, like you're, yeah. you're awful sketch. So if, <laughs> hey, if you're okay, I think he wanted most people to be humans, and I think a bunch of us are already not playing humans. And, but like, yeah. you know, yeah, they'll just treat you like shit. Oh, nice. Is to be like, honest, no for one? fighter, humans, humans, one of the best starting options you have anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Human, then? yeah, you have two different types of human. You can have human as, as written, which is you just get a plus one to every ability score straight down Which the line. Which isn't bad, let's be fair. That's pretty good. That's not good. bad at all. It's pretty damn good. There's also a better option, though, called the variant human. <laughs> let's not go... I mean, Nathan, let's not, let's not complicate it. <laughs> yeah. We're not complicating it. It gives you a plus one <laughs> to two abilities uh, of your choice, and you also get a free skill proficiency. We'll get into that later. And you also get a free feat. 
Um, is it better to be variant? <laughs> it depends on how complex you want it. Yes, it's better to be variant, depending on how you roll your dice, because you get a free feat, and a free feat at first level is is pretty dope, especially for a fighter. Okay. A, a feat is basically a non-class based ability. To put it simply. Right. Unfortunately, so I can't actually. Ability. I mean, I wish I could see what people were doing, but I can't see what people were doing. So we're just going to be looking at <laughs> this screen for now. Okay. Uh, I have decided so, on my class. Okay. Well, uh, right. Well, don't do not do that yet. So go to... Well, no, no, no. no. I, I, I can, I've decided so, I want to, te want to play, but um, I haven't clicked anything. Okay. So have you selected your race, Cameron? Has everyone yes. selected their race on, on, the, on, the, on the character wizard? Yes. And, yep. and selected their sub races. Yep. Yes. I chose That's white cool. with a sub race okay. of Anglo Saxon. So accent. click next. Okay. And it should take you to the stats. On the. S I'm going to have to open this up myself. Next. Right. Uh, so on the left hand side, it should say select a method for determining ability scores. Okay. Now I'm going to have to have everyone do this one at a time. Okay, there is a reason. If your total stats, not including the modification modifiers, is less than plus two in total, then you can mulligan the whole stats, all the stats. So you need to be. So you need. So if you roll low, like like really shit stats, you can mulligan and re-roll. Okay, does that make any sense? And I'll have the table up so that I can check this. Nathan might be able to just go. Yeah, it's. No, that's right. That, you, you're on more than plus two. But um, so we'll start with Cameron first. Okay. So uh, if you, roll. so what you do, Cameron, is you go, you select the dice. So yeah, you select the. It says standard array. If you press the yeah. down arrow, you'll see there's a dice roll, and just click the dice yeah. roll, and it will automatically roll all the dice. Okay. Right, and the so way you I'm move it, okay, the way you can move it is, you see you've got the arrows. Mm-hmm. Um, you can move stats around like that. So if you want to assign your stats to certain areas, you can. Now, yeah. now have you gone over the plus two? So a seven is a minus he two. Has. He's at plus three. Oh, is he yeah. at plus three? Yeah. Ten is plus yeah. one. That 14 just nudges over. Is a, what, yes. what, are you, what is he going to play? Cameron, what are you going to play? Uh, I am going to be playing the monk. Okay, so you need depth he, and he needs to reroll. Are you going to be a drow <laughs> monk? Yes. That's yeah, cool. Ooh. Uh, James, do you remember the background you gave for me? I'm going to change my race to human, so give him the background I had. That way it can be kind of consistent because you already well, had just... it planned out. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll the, just I'll just reselect. I'll just, if 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 we don't, yeah. If, about the elf, the the background. Because you were story. talking about a That's dusk true. elf background or something like that. Sure, we can. I mean, that if it fits, it fits. I mean, I've got options. They weren't all. So, um, s Emily. I'm just saying, you can do that. Hello. So so did so, you so did Cam actually get the right amount of dice rolls or did he not? I don't know. I, yeah. did, he yeah. did, I think I did a thing. You did a so thing. Nine, I did a thing. <laughs> so you're nine good, is plus one, pl plus one, plus two. You're at a plus four. Yeah, you're okay too. Yeah. And you're playing a fighter, Emily, which means you want sh strength and constitution. Is constitution. that right? Yes. Yeah. That's your primary stats. Definitely one point. There you go. I want my dex as um, high as possible as a monk, don't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, get, yeah you think, want dex and wisdom as high as possible. Yeah. I think Emily might be best suited by going base human to get that. Plus yeah, one I was gonna. I was gonna say too. Yeah. The, it's simple then as well. Go to human again. Yeah. Just go yeah, to just, yeah. yeah you can go back and human. change it. Yeah. yeah. With okay. base human, you get plus one above the board, so you got a lot of odd uh, ability scores there. Uh, your ability score tends to increase on a even number when you go in below 10 it's a bit more uh, yeah. a bit harder to do but yeah so like 12 14 16 18 or your ability score increase starts by having your plus one across the board you choose you move some of those odd odd ability scores to an even and so you're either negating a negative or increasing yeah. what you have 
like the thirteen. Let's get the wrong explanation. Yeah, like that thirteen becomes a plus two. That fourteen becomes a fifteen, which is fine, and that eleven becomes the plus one. Okay. So. Yeah. <clears throat> 10, Sorry for that. Yeah, so. And the nine becomes a ten as well, so that means that goes yeah. from a minus one to a zero. So no. So yeah. So it is. It is. It is arbitrary better to like throw it up. Um, Jesse, your mm-hmm. turn to hit the uh, dice roller. You know what you're doing. Do you see? Did you? Did you? I just, you know what? I'll just do it as a placeholder. I can always change it. Okay. Uh, where is it? What? Oh. Yes, I'm ready. So you can just do that, right? Piles of dice. That's very awesome. And I don't know why I'm Freckle or Blaine. So why am I Freckle or Blaine? We will fix it in a minute. Okay. We'll we'll fix it in post. (laughs) (laughs) And you're playing human, yes? I'm playing human variant. Okay. So, so betrayed. And I think I did it right. I'll ask oh, in a minute. So the, oh, it, it, will t- it will tell you if you haven't done it right. It will it will put an alert at the bottom if you haven't if you've done it incorrectly. No, no, I mean like chosen because uh, I, I I want some advice on the, on some of the choices that I made. So I just I'll in a sec. Yeah, um, yeah human variant, select a, two, you select an ability score, you select another yeah. ability score, select a language. And then a skill proficiency, and then you would do the feats at the end. Okay, so and if, uh, I want to switch to the stats. How do I do that? Where are you? Uh, I'm at the dice still. I haven't moved. I've not hit next. Okay, so I, have you? So have you moved? So where do you want to move your stats? Uh, I want to move the. So do you see? I don't think I want the seventeen in dexterity. I think I want it in constitution. So do you see? You can you move see them the, with the arrows. Do you see the arrows at the bottom? Yeah. You can move the stats yeah. around with that. Okay. So you can reorder them. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, the idiot. <clears throat> what character class are you going with? Me. Yeah. Wizard. Wizard. Okay. Cool. Yep. Nice. Yes. Wow, so you have what completely changed. Yeah, don't put that 17 in Constitution, though. Don't? No, you want it in Intelligence. Put it in, 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 in no, I'm in putting this... Actually, I'm putting... The, okay, that human variant, remember? Uh, it's... Uh, I, I, did, I did the plus one in Con and plus one in uh, Intelligence. That's how I... Okay, yeah. It, yeah. It's fine. I just... It, I'm seeing the changes because I, I added a plus one to constitution and a plus one to intelligence. So whenever I move them around, they change. Ah, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you look at the top row, yeah. If you look at the top row, so if you look on the left hand side, Jesse, in the top yep. row, that is what you've rolled. Okay, that's not going to yep. add anything. Yeah, that is that is just base. That is the base stats that you got. And like I said, there's an yep. arrow where you can move your stats around. Yep, and I've already I think you can the- even drag. I think you can even just drag it as well. It just switches it. So, like, I've already got Arcana as a proficiency for the human variant. So, do I take? Can I double up on proficiency whenever I? T- now, my- this is where this is where no. it goes horribly wrong. Okay. Um, okay. it doesn't allow it. It will just go and have a brain seizure, and I don't know why. But you can't do it anyway. Okay. But then, you can't do but, it. But I'm done. Yeah, I, no. I got my stats done. Uh, um, did you select your proficiency for your uh, human? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Arcana. Yeah, maybe change that, or don't Do select it. As, or don't select it as a wizard, because you might get it. Because it might cause issues. Oh, so choose something else. Is what you're saying? Yeah, you're going to get Arcana a... because of your because of your class. So, okay. Yeah. Right. Once everyone's happy with their stats and we've sorted that <laughs> out, click next and we'll go to class and f- class features. <clears throat> so I'm check- I am checking the Excuse time. Me. 
and obviously you just select what you're going to play so if you're playing a fire you select fire if you're playing a monk you select monk if you're playing a wizard you put a wizard if you're playing um sorcerer you can well you know it is it is as simple as that oh shit I wonder why um is there an errata for this because I've actually only I've got the first print in of uh, AD and the place handbook I'm sure there's fixes I don't think there's a, there's a very big errata for it what are you what are you concerned with that's wrong no I'm just wondering if there was an errata no I don't think so because this, this book's yeah. is August 2014 I think there's been a couple out, but there's nothing major that should really okay. impact anything. Right. So is everyone <clears throat> who's selecting their class selected their class? Yeah. And you've gone through all the options that it starts you to do. So like your two skill proficiencies. Oh, that's all you get as a fighter. Uh, wizard, you get. Oh, you. Do you, get... do, you do a multi-class? No, no, well. no, no, no. That's only if you. That's later on. That's not. That's okay, not cool, needed cool, cool. right now. Yeah, don't think so. It won't let you um, at first because we're first level. That's not really right. right. Once you've done that, click next. Now you need to select a background. Okay. Uh, it actually doesn't appear on the side here. Does it actually tell me stuff? No, it doesn't. Bollocks. Right. If you go. If you go into library again and look for background, oh, backgrounds is selected. Uh, if you click on the background, it will tell you everything about the background. Like if you want to read about it and what it does, you can have a look. Unless you've already selected, if you've already selected, just tick the background you could that you want. All backgrounds do M is uh, they give you like a like an out of combat role playing special feature mm -hmm. that you can use. Yeah. And they but, also but look, um, they give you access but, they give you access to some like skill proficiencies that you but, normally wouldn't have. Background okay, cool. rise, what it is is basically probably what you was doing before you decided to go, Hey, I want to be an adventurer. Right? Yeah. Am I right with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Yeah, it's your previous um, profession if you will. Jesse, I, what's uh, that one that you had as an elf? Uh, James? He picked archaeologists. Ah, okay. Well, that's what I'm taking already. I'm taking that as a background. I'm talking about that the, the, the backgrounds that we were doing that were... The story. Yeah. That's yeah, the what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I will, I'm just, I will just re-choose, uh, Jesse. It will be a lot easier for me to re-choose. Okay. Yes, okay. but I was asking what Jesse had as a background before the change. So back I could story or background? It. Story. A story. Yeah, James yeah. is giving us custom so. story hooks. Yeah, so yeah. things that are going to draw you. So things that. So basically, there will be like. I do expect a little bit of homework from you guys, um, <laughs> um, which is just basically write a backstory, but it will include certain things, okay? That, you know, you need to sort of hit. hit. And the minimum I expect is half a page, like a paragraph. We mark it. Yes. You're asking. <laughs> you're asking two writers. I believe there are two writers in this group to only write half a paragraph. No, minimum of half a, a paragraph, page. maximum of page and a half. I don't want. I don't want a fucking novel to read before I start running <laughs> this game. You don't want an old man Henderson script. <laughs> Chapter no. one, the beginning. Chapter <laughs> <laughs> yes. two, early childhood disasters. Chapter yeah. three, young adult <laughs> disasters. Wins Winslow Drama. was ripped. From the warm embrace of his mother's womb, kicking right. and screaming, soaked in birth fluid into this world. So, um, who has everyone selected a background? And Emily, are you how are you doing on a background, or have you already um, like chosen? What's the select tool proficiency thing? What? Uh, tool proficiencies are things like there. We'll get into them. You get them later. They're not important. Do I need to click one now? Yes. Maybe. What's, what's the tool? Yeah, yeah. What are the tool uh, proficiency? Tell me what you got. Uh, dice set, uh, dragon chess set, playing card just, set, free it's just dragon. Your, it's just your knowledge of different games, basically. Different yeah. games that you can play, like, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, it's basically, what game did your character, uh, what's their favourite game, what's their chosen oh, okay. game to gamble, okay. say, or whatever. Okay, cool. Right, I've done that then. 
I mean, like, I mean, it is, it is basically, I think it's basically char- cards, chess, and fucking dice is basically what yes. it is. Just with extra, chess. extra words added on to make it sound more <laughs> fantasy. It's dragon, dragon chess. I did dragon chess, yeah. I right. did. Dragon so, chess would be interesting. We are going to take our first 10 minute break. Wow. We will be back in 10 minutes. So, don't touch that doll.